conversation with God as it relates to building God a sanctuary. In the book of 2 Chronicles, verse chapter number 2, verse number 6, it says, But who is able to build him a house? See, the heaven and heaven of the highest heaven cannot contain. The heaven and the heaven of the highest heaven. The first heaven, the second heaven, the highest heaven references the third heaven. And the third heaven can't contain you, Lord. So how can I build you a house? Woo, come on, Boston. All right? So, so strategically, philosophically, theologically, etymologically, Solomon points out the existence of the three heavens. Are y'all here with me? The third heaven is the planet where God himself tells dwells. All right? Uh, uh, Solomon is told by God to build him a house. Now let me let me kill this 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 new philosophy uh, that has arisen or that has arisen uh, that says the church is man-made. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That devil's so stupid. You can tell the devil don't read the Bible. Amen. And you can tell people who let the devil use them because they don't read the Bible either. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They're not saying that the church is man-made. And you know what they do? They use the preacher as this greedy individual who just wants a facility so they can get paid. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all because uh, I want y'all to be happy. If I got to answer your call at 2 in the morning, when you read my phone and I answer, hello. And then you say to me, Pastor, are you asleep? Come on. Come on. No. Come on. I got to marry your living. Come on. I got to bury your dead. Come on, Pastor. I got to counsel your crazy. Come on. Y'all not saying nothing here. Because we don't study, we allow them to tell us this stuff and we start believing it. 
Are you hearing me? And we used to sit on the front row. Then we came to church and we noticed we was on row three. We went from row three to row five. Then we just started hanging out in the restroom. Y'all not saying nothing. And then it got to the point to where we just stopped coming. You know, the church used to be anointed. God used to be there. All the prayer At one time, the church was thriving. Baby, the church is still thriving. You just took them on another spirit that doesn't know the spirit of God. And so when you come into the house, you empty because you're not connected to the soul. Listen, listen. I'm not making this up. Listen to me. Get this. Get this. Get this. The Holy Spirit does not pastor the church. The man or the woman of God pastors the church. They receive instruction from the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit pastored the church, then you would have no false prophets. If the Holy Spirit pastored the church, you wouldn't have leaders that's preaching error. He does not pastor the church. He gives instructions to the mouthpiece that is behind this sacred desk. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's a responsibility. Well, I, I give. I, I, I'm where I need to be. Y'all just follow me. I, I give to the church, but I, I ain't giving that preacher. He's a hard 